We're going to do something a little different with the happies today because this is our 20th anniversary. We're going to combine happy birthday and happy anniversary with a tribute to our years here and then hope it's not happy trails to us. Wilbon and I have not seen this thing, so we will watch along with you. We're told that our great friend and anniversary special MC, Pablo Torre, deserves special credit, so you better not blow it, Pablo. And as they say in the space capsule, good luck and Godspeed. So wait, these guys are getting a special on ESPN? For what? Yelling at each other for 20 years? <laughs> All right, let's do this. Tony and Mike, congratulations on 20 years of PTI. And Pablo, I hope you're proud of these guys for staying together so long. I know I am. Because 20 years is a long time. When PTI first came on the air, I was a state senator in Illinois. And whenever I had a little extra time, I would turn on ESPN. If I was lucky, there'd be a good basketball game on. If I wasn't, it would be you guys. But I will admit... You grew on me over the years. That's why I invited you to the Oval Office. Although I heard you didn't realize you were in the Oval Office <laughs> until Reality told you afterwards. Really? Yeah, that's true. The Resolute Desk didn't give it away? Or maybe the shape of the room? <laughs> Once we got out on the golf course together, you seemed to relax a little. Uh, Mike was dropping names, as he always does. And Tony was talking about the local radio guy who delivered... DC traffic updates on the ones. And meanwhile, my swing was starting to look pretty good, at least in comparison to your guys. <laughs> so uh, I became an official fan. Not just because I like watching you talk about sports, but because of the example you set. For two decades, you have shown us what it looks like to argue in a way that demonstrates mutual respect, even love. And you've also taught us that we have more in common than we realize. Let's face it, on the surface, you two don't exactly look like best friends. One of you stays up late. The other goes to sleep before the West Coast games even start. One of you jets around the country. The other has, the other has to be to leave his attic. One of you roots for Chicago teams. The other roots for worse teams. But there's also a lot you do agree on about sports and about life, about how we should treat each other, about right and wrong, about the importance of setting the bar high and working to exceed it. You expect that from athletes, and it's clear you hold yourselves to the same standard. Segment after segment, day after day, year after year, you guys show up. Well, at least most of the time you guys show up. And now I'm out of time. I'll try to do better next time. Congratulations on 20 great years, knuckleheads. Nobody's ever accused either one of us of being speechless, but that brings us pretty close, Tony. I, I don't know what to say. I thought he was going to be in there for like six seconds and then out, and then we get this tribute from somebody who is a, 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 a dear friend and a special friend to us both. I didn't expect that at all. N not even no. at all. God, he looks better than we do. He should, but he really does look better <laughs> than we do. And that story is true about the Oval Office. Neither Wilbon or I had any idea we were in the Oval Office. And it's like a movie set. It's like Let's half the, the size I thought it was going to be. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.